Hi, my name is Chris and I'm a Healthcare Leadership Academy Scholar. I'm presenting to you Socrates, a project I worked on during my time at the HLA. As Socrates, we are working on making medical students into better doctors. Let me show you what it's about. In less than a month, I will be starting work on the wards as a junior doctor and I will be expected to manage acutely unwell patients in literal life or death scenarios. During my time at medical school, I've seen many other doctors do this, but I've not been put into a role of responsibility myself. My situation is not uncommon. Medicine is classically taught through a see one, do one, teach one approach. However, initiatives to improve patient safety, coupled with centralization of services, mean that around the world, medical students are seeing, not doing. This compromises patient safety each year with 850,000 medical errors made in the UK at a direct cost of £2 billion. More worryingly, there is a 12% annual increase in mortality as junior doctors start work in August each year. An example that we've seen in our team includes a patient with unrelenting back pain that was dismissed by clinicians. The patient, in fact, had a ruptured aortic aneurysm and later died the same evening in hospital. He was 54 years old and had two children. This is unacceptable. This could have been prevented and this is why we have created Socrates. Socrates is a medical education assistant that enables users to develop clinical reasoning skills outside of a hospital setting using either a mobile device or a home assistant device such as Amazon Alexa or Google Home. Here we are presented with a random case of Mr. Smith who is presented to a &E with chest pain. We can see our user interacting through voice to conduct a medical consultation with the simulated patient. We have humanized the virtual patient and given it a responsive persona. We have also incorporated a range of different clinical investigations including simple things such as blood test results and more complex investigations such as ECGs and CT scans, which the user can request and then interpret as they would do in a hospital set. Once the user has correctly diagnosed the virtual patient, they are then assessed on the best practice management of the simulated condition, using a computer adaptive testing module which maps to the individual level of skill and competencies of our users. Overall, our platform enables the end-to-end -end development of consultation skill, clinical knowledge, empathy, and most importantly, safety. So how do we do it? We use artificial intelligence and natural language processing to formulate these virtual patients based upon anonymized real patient data. We are not reinventing the wheel. What we are doing is reducing the learning curve between seeing and doing such that medical students are fully prepared for working lives as doctors. Our journey takes us back to when my co-founder Luke and I first met in the US while we were working on research projects. We then developed our thoughts and ideas further into what is now Socrates, and I decided to take this on as my HLA project in order to gain valuable insight and feedback from my peers. We then formed a team where we complement each other with our skills. And as you can see, we like to work very hard. Naturally, as our journey progressed, we made some big steps forward. We gained the privilege to be supported by leaders in both tech and education. These include Alex Truby, who sold his company to Google and now works there, and Dr. Sam, who is the head of curriculum and assessment at our medical school. They critically evaluate every step we make and feed us with practical ideas. Socrates then really took off earlier this year. We won major pitching competitions, forged international relationships with medical schools abroad, and we also had some international news features. Currently, one in three medical students at our medical school are officially waiting to use our product. Using the money we have won, we want to flesh out the current product that we have to include further specialties, such as psychiatry. We then plan to launch Socrates nationally and partner with medical schools throughout the UK. Eventually, our goal is to launch Socrates where it is needed most and to gain access to NHS data in order to create a dynamic and evolving platform. A randomized controlled trial 
would help us to show proof of concept and efficacy. The HLA gave me great support, for which I am tremendously grateful. My peers provided me with inspiration and practical ideas. I feel more equipped and more confident to lead our business to a bright and successful future. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or want to find out more.